Today in our 2019 Toyota Sienna, we're going to be installing eTrailer.com's Class 3 2-inch trailer hitch receiver. And this is what our hitch looks like when it's installed. The cross tube is hidden completely behind the bumper, so you're only going to be able to see the receiver tube sticking out the back here. It's a Class 3 2-inch by 2-inch receiver, so it's going to be great for all of your towing needs, from bike racks to cargo carriers and for trailers. It uses a 5 8 inch hitch pin and clip. Now one doesn't come with the hitch, but you can pick one up here at eTrailer.com and it utilizes hoop style safety chain loops that have a very large opening, so it should accommodate just about every shape, size, and style of safety chain. It features a 525 pound tongue weight, that's the force going down on top of the receiver, and a 3,500 pound gross towing capacity, that's how much it can pull behind it. Now you do want to verify in your vehicle's owner's manual to ensure you don't exceed any of its towing capacities. And now I've got some measurements for you to help you when deciding on accessories. From the ground to the top and center of the receiver tube, it measures about 13 inches. This is important when determining if you need a drop, rise, or raise shank in any of your accessories. And from the center of the hitch pin hole to the edge of the rear bumper, it measures about 4 inches. This is important when determining if any of your folding accessories can be placed in the upright storage position without contacting the bumper. We'll begin our installation at the back of the vehicle by removing our undershield. There are five bolts across the back that we're going to remove using a 10 millimeter socket. There's one Phillips head screw on the driver's side you'll need to remove. There are then seven push pin fasteners that we'll need to remove. To remove those, you'll simply take a flat bladed screwdriver or a trim panel remover tool, work your way underneath of it, and pull it down. We'll repeat that for all the ones that are remaining. There's a small black piece as well that this slides into. You'll want to take those out as well so you don't lose them. There are then four plastic nuts you'll need to remove. They've got kind of a plus in the middle that you can put your screwdriver in, and you just want to unscrew those. I like to put a little bit of downward pressure on these when unscrewing them. We'll repeat that for the remaining fasteners. We can then pull our panel down and set it aside. We'll now need to trim our undershield for our receiver tube to fit. You'll refer to your instructions for the out Y that I've drawn out here. And you can cut this out with either a rotary cutting tool or a pair of tin snips. And once you get to the back, you can fold it back. And I find it easier to get a straight cut by just using the razor knife. So you can just kind of work it back and forth and slide your knife along there. And It'll cut right through. Now we'll locate the holes where our hitch is going to be mounted. On the side of your frame on each side, you're going to have some stickers and a little rubber plug. We're going to remove all the stickers. So take your screwdriver and you can kind of, you can also push up and then pull it down. However you want to get the stickers off really doesn't matter. We'll be leaving the rubber plug in. And then we'll remove the stickers on the other side as well. Now to give us more room getting our hitch into position, we're gonna take the rubber isolator loose on the passenger side. So we're gonna spray that down with some lubricant to make it easier to push off. And then we're just gonna use a pry bar to push off that rubber isolator. We can now prepare all of our hardware. Take each bolt and place a conical tooth washer on it with the teeth facing away from the head of the bolt. You'll have six of these when you're done. Now with the next set of hands, we're gonna lift our hitch to position. Now the instructions do want you to remove the entire fascia, but you can just sneak it up this way. If you start with the passenger side, get that side up. You wanna make sure you get it above all of these and as well as the brackets there. You kinda of have to work them one at a time, pulling on them to get them past the brackets. Once you get the passenger side, then you can start working on getting your driver's side up. Now we'll lift it up and get a bolt started on each side. Once one started on each side, the hitch will hold itself in place, making it easier to install the rest of your hardware. And now we'll tighten down all of our hardware using a 19 millimeter socket. and then go back and torque all of your hardware to the specifications found in your instructions. We can now reinstall our undershield.
and now we can reinstall our exhaust. And that completes our installation of eTrailer.com's Class 3 2-inch trailer hitch receiver on our 2019 Toyota Sienna.